And I don't know if you're aware, but both Anthony Smith, John Jones, several several fighters have all said, you know, they're hoping this is not the end. They would love to see you fight again. I know, obviously, this is it's a, it's tough losing on home ground, but is there any part of you that feels that this might not be over? I'm feel, I'm feeling pretty I'm feeling that it's it's pretty much a done deal. You know, I'm, if you don't feel that you have it in you anymore, it is what it is. Uh, it's nothing that I'm. I had three title fights. Like I said, it's been a great journey, and uh, this is it. And what will your? I can imagine you won't leave martial arts completely. Do you feel like you'll have some kind of coaching role or something like that going? Let's go see what it? happens. Let's see. Uh, I'm pretty. I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with that life I'm, ha I'm living right now. And. I've always been fighting, starting with boxing when I was a young kid, and from that I went to MMA. I work my ass off every day. I train harder than everyone else. I sacrifice so much. I travel around the world to, to train, and I enjoy it. When you stop learning, then you should like quit your career. You should stop doing MMA because you, you can't be perfect. It's a learning process that it has to be ongoing all the time. In the UFC, you can't just be good at one thing. You have to be good at everything. This is just a process you have to work on all the time. And how do you think you will be remembered in Scandinavian MMA if this is the end? No idea. Let's see what people say. I don't know. I just had it just been an honor and pleasure for, to, to be able to represent the Sweden and Scandinavia and, and on on the top level of fighting. Well, I'm living a life today that I'm very pleased with and happy with because of the UFC and the sport. I'll see myself as a world champion, but if I see myself as the best guy in the world, I don't know but I will see myself as a watcher. Well.